Hello, it's Rachel Alexandra, and this is Rachel Alexandra's Dialogue. If you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, so, okay, so basically, this today's video is going to be just about motherhood. If you're not a mom, then you can still watch it. If you are a mom, then you should watch it. And if you're about to be a mom, then you should definitely watch it. So today, I'm going to talk about, like, five things that, okay, my nails are yellow because I put turmeric on my face, and I be taking turmeric off, and that's, that's why it's yellow. So today, I'm going to talk about five things about, um what you should know before you have a baby okay number one i feel like number one the first thing you should know is that when they first are born they literally eat every two to three hours you know what i'm saying so like if you breastfeed you should if you breastfeed then you literally probably not gonna get any sleep especially when you first had a child when um when you recuperate from your surgery you're gonna be really really tired like you know what i'm saying like so you're gonna be breastfeeding all the time all the time on the, like 24 7 it's gonna feel it's gonna feel like at first it's gonna feel like your life ended but everything gets better it really does like when the baby turn like really like one month everything gets better you start you start getting to know your baby like you're at first it's gonna feel like you're with a stranger not necessarily a stranger because the baby's going to your stomach but like the, the baby the, my cats be busting in you like they human so first you gonna have to get to know them, you know, you're gonna be breastfeeding all the time or feeding them similar to whatever you feed them, right? And so that's the first thing is that they eat all the time. And you're not really gonna know like their cues yet, because your baby might be different from other people's babies. Um, so they might they're gonna tell you when they're hungry, either through crying, through doing like this with their mouth, trying to eat their mouth, you know, eating them two things, right? So that's number one. Number two is that you are definitely not going to be sleeping at all when you first have a child. You're going to be like on an adrenaline. Like you, you're going to be wanting to do everything right. But you, you, can, you can kind of like calm down though. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, want to do everything right. You're not going to be sleeping a lot for probably the first, I say two and a half weeks. It depends on how old you are. Because you know, the doctors say the younger you are, like the better you like recover from your surgery. So like, the quicker you recover from your surgery or the better the more healthy you are. <clears throat> Ooh. The more healthy you are, the quicker you recover from your surgery. Oh, she waking up. So it's gonna be real hard to like get sleep. But you know, I know everybody always say sleep when they sleep. But you definitely should at least for the first two to three weeks. Now, when she sleeps, I be like, oh, it's lit. I'm about to do all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I'm used to having a baby now. You know what I'm saying? She sleeps through the night now. She's three months today, actually. Happy birthday. So she sleeps through through the night now, five to six hours at three months. So, like, now when she sleeps, I'm like, okay, I got to clean up. I got to do this. I can just chill. I can watch a funny video. I can record a I can record a YouTube video. Like I can do certain stuff now. But, but for the first two or three weeks, you should definitely sleep when sleep when the baby sleeps. And number three is that um you don't, I know what this is my first child. So like um I don't know. I was like it was weird to be alone with her. I was like okay, but if I don't do something right, what if like I I don't know like what if I do something wrong? What if she needs something? I don't know what she needs. But really, for her, for her, it's going to be instinctual. Like, if that's, even a, if that's even a word. It's going to be your instincts to know, like, okay, they need milk. They need this. If they don't need this, okay, they probably need, they probably colic. They probably got gas. They probably need a burp. Like, it's, it's going to be in your instinct. So, you don't really have to be, like, afraid to be alone with your child. Because I know I was, I was like, anxious about it. Like, oh, my God. Like, am I even a good enough mother to be alone with my child? Like, what if something go wrong? What am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? But that's really a sign that you really care about your child. Because if you don't care, then you probably trash. Anybody. Um, and so, what else? I feel like I might do more than five, depending on, like, different stuff that come to my mind. Also, another thing you should know when you have a child is that when you first are recovering, it would be good that you have, like, some help, whether it's a friend. It don't really have to be, if you're not with your, um, the child's father, like, it's okay. It's not that deep, you know what I'm saying? But whether it's a friend, your mom, your dad, anybody, a neighbor, anybody you close to, you cool with who you trust being around the child, you trust. Because it's going to be hard for you to get up, okay? I had a C-section, so it was hard for me to get up sometimes. Like, well, I feel really like my body felt, like, 
very, 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 very dead. Like, basically, it was hard for me to move. So, it's good for you to have help. You know what I'm saying? Also, another thing you should know um, before you have a baby is that, like, it's really rewarding. You know how people always say your life is over when you have a kid. You know, really, your life really starts. Like that's, I feel like it's the beginning of my life, which is the craziest feeling ever. Because honestly, before I had a kid, I always thought, okay, whenever I have a kid, my life over. I'm not going to do nothing. It's going to be over. It's not even like that. Like, your life really starts, especially, like, if you're young. Even, I'm saying, I'm young, so I'm speaking from a young person's perspective. But even per some person who might be older, older who have a child, like, your life starts because there's a new life with you. Like, it's not the end of the world, for real. That's, one, that's a major thing you need to know. It's not the end of the world. Your life begins at the end of your comfort zone. Really, and this is way out of my comfort zone. Like, if you knew me, you'd be like, I'm not having no kids. Kids, like, what? My life's going to end. No, I really feel like I have a life now. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I literally, it's the weirdest feeling, feeling ever for for real. But you really feel like you have a life. Like, when you have a child. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, not that I was, I wasn't bored before. Like, I was lit before. I do all types of stuff before. But, like, when you have a child, don't let nobody tell you your life is over. You're going to be broke. You're going to do all of that. Because I had people tell me that. And it's like, for real, for real, this is motivation for you to go harder. And for real, for real, like, it's a new life. How is your life over when you just produce the life that does not make any sense so your life will go on your life will be better because you have a child and also this is the last thing like i feel like a child like sometimes like if you feel sad if you feel down you are not going to even feel sad or down because you have a child like i'm not saying that a child is a cure for depression like if you have depression you should definitely like go see somebody a therapist um, you know what I'm saying, or something like that, a counselor or something. But I'm saying that, like, general sadness, not depression. Like, you you don't even have the swarm in your heart or in your body to feel sad. Like, that's one thing I want to let y'all know before, before you have a child is that, like, it really is like a cure for sadness. Like, I don't know, it's something about having a child that, like, sadness, who is she? Who is he? Who are they? You know what I'm saying? So, like... Yeah, those are some things I want you to know that are very important, like, that I wish I would have known before I had a child, or even, like, five years, six years before I had a child, I wouldn't have been so afraid to have one, or, like, feeling like, oh, my life's gonna be over, because it's not, and thank you so much for watching this video, again, my name is Rachel Alexandra, please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're new here, and hello to all of you first-time moms, please subscribe, I'm gonna be doing more videos about, like, essentials, um, when you have a baby, because I, I have everything. I did research for nine months on what to get. I have everything. Essentials, how to recover quicker, because, like, everybody always, everybody be saying that I don't even look like I had a baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody be saying, you don't even look like you had a baby. Like, like, and I feel like my body looks better, which is crazy. Like, I feel like my body looks better after having a baby than when I had one, before I had one, which is, honestly, I sound crazy, but I'm going to tell y'all, like, how I did that. Um, also, yeah, subscribe to me for how, how to recover from a C-section or a regular birth, because I did a vaginal birth, not regular, but C-section is regular too, um, a vaginal birth, because I did so much research before, because I didn't know I was going to have a C-section, so I was buying stuff for a vaginal birth that, that, um, that I would need too, so please, 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 please subscribe, and once again, my name is Rachel Alexandra, and this is Rachel Alexandra's Dialogue, thank you for watching, bye!